Good morning, greetings friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more knowledgeable. You are more and more in control of your body, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds. Recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system, the human body, is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you are dealing with a chronic health issue, a long-term progressive health issue that's just not getting better, a degenerative disease issue, there's something missing, there's something wrong, there's something getting into your body that shouldn't be getting into your body. It's not the way of the body. Let us help you. Let us show you how easy it can be to change your life today. If you're dealing with chronic pain or chronic inflammation or any long-term degenerative health crisis, or if you have a loved one who's dealing with a long-term progressive degenerative health issue, Let us help you. Let us help you change your life or the lives of loved ones today. 844-236-6010 is our number. 844-236-6010. If you have questions about health challenges or prescription drugs, or if you want to get off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you. If you have questions about formulations, ingredients, longevity products, skincare, skincare products, we can help you. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program, you can head over to brightsideben.com or my blog, criticalhealthnews.com or pharmacistben.com or to products right off the website, or you can call The Brightside Ben phone team, if you prefer to talk to somebody live, 866-735-2470 is their number, 866-735-2470. And if you want to purchase any of our Truth Skin Health products, head over to truthtreatments.com. Make sure you take a look at our retinol 5% gel made with real retinol. No phony baloney retinol, phony baloney labels. Yesterday or a couple days ago, we talked about a product that just... You know, just because something says it's retinol on the label doesn't mean there's retinol in the product. Just put it that way. That's why I call my skin health products the truth because I got so sick of the dishonesty in the skincare world. And I've been in it for three decades plus, and it is a dishonest business. There are companies that are lying to you. And this uh, product from Watts Beauty just exemplifies the dishonesty. Anyway, truthtreatments.com. Check out our retinol 5% gel or our other truth skin health products. All right, thanks for joining us on the Bright Side. Speaking of the skin, one of my favorite vitamins for the skin is vitamin E. It's a protection vitamin. It's our protection vitamin. It protects the inside of the body and it protects the outside of the body. And these days, everyone, we all need protection. This key essential fatty vitamin, vitamin E, protects every single cell in the body. Every one of the 100 trillion little entities that make us up our cells. Misunderstanding or not understanding or not taking into account our cellular nature is really why we go to the doctor when we're sick. Because we think we're organs and structures and we're really cells. Our body is made up of 100 trillion cells. We don't have gallbladder problems. We got gallbladder cell problems. We don't have heart disease. We got heart cell disease. We don't have liver disease. We got liver cell disease. We don't have brain problems or dementias. We got brain cell issues. And vitamin E protects cells. That means it protects everything, particularly the brain and the blood and the liver. And the more medicine, this is what we said yesterday, the more medicine you're using, the more drugs you're taking, and that includes illegal drugs, and that includes marijuana, and that includes anything you're smoking, the more you need vitamin A. If you're a cigarette smoker, you need more vitamin, I'm sorry, vitamin E and vitamin A for that matter. But vitamin E protects us from cigarette smoke. Vitamin E protects our lungs. If you're dealing with Parkinson's or Alzheimer's or any dementia, they're all basically the same thing. 
Dementia is dementia and Parkinson's disease is brain disease. It's all the same thing, folks. The more vitamin E we need, if you're dealing with any brain problems, even if you just have memory issues as you get older, vitamin E may be helpful. If you're carrying more body fat, you need more vitamin E. The more you're in the sun, the more you need vitamin E. Basically, if we're alive in the 21st century, if we're breathing the air and drinking the water and eating the food and exposed to the radiation and the chlorine and the fluoride and any of the 10,000 plus poisons that uh, are in our 21st century American environment, the more we need vitamin E. And as far as the liver goes, it's critical for the health of the liver. It's critical for helping the liver detoxify, but it's more than just detoxification. Vitamin E protects us from fibrosis of the liver, cirrhosis of the liver. It protects against hepatitis, whether it's A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, or whatever letter they want to give it. Hepatitis is hepatitis. It's an inflamed liver. And it doesn't matter what's causing it. Vitamin E can protect your liver from hepatitis. There's literature that suggests that people who have hepatitis have lower levels of vitamin E. Got about five mil, four or five million Americans have hepatitis. And, and it doesn't matter the form. You know, it doesn't matter the letter that comes after it, which is just an indicator of what particular virus is causing it and the particular vector or how, it, how you get it. That doesn't matter. If you have hepatitis, you got a messed up liver, period, and you don't need Harvoni or Soldani necessarily, you need to protect your liver, which, as we said yesterday, is a digestive organ. That means food, and especially sugar, because the liver processes sugar. If you are infected with a virus, if you have hepatitis, you need to be doing the same thing that an alcoholic with psoriasis has to do, or that uh, a diabetic with heart disease has to do, or that any of the 100 million Americans with NASH, non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, NASH they call it, which is fatty liver disease, steatohepatitis, I love the way that sounds, steato means fatty, hepatitis means inflamed liver, non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, fatty liver disease. The liver is so, so important to the body. It f performs all of these hundreds of functions. And it's so fundamental to livingness, to being alive, that it can actually regenerate itself. If you have a quarter of your liver left, if you have 25% of your liver left, that 25% can actually grow back and form a whole liver. There's no other organ in the body that can do that. That is amazingness. You have a little piece of liver, quarter of your liver, and it will grow back to form a whole liver. Not surprisingly, given the prevalence of toxicity in liver disease, modern medicine has uh, come up with a really cool strategy for dealing with liver issues if your liver's really messed up. They can put a new one in, a liver transplant. But that is not something you want to ever have to deal with. You know, th these days it's pretty miraculous what surgeons can do, what modern medicine can do. And a liver transplant is a mind-blowingly complicated operation. It's like having a, a, it's not quite like a brain transplant, but it's right up there. It's like a heart transplant. You're, you, they're, they're reconnecting a completely new organ or structure into your body. Uh, you don't want that to happen, folks. Yes, they can do it, but <laughs> think about it. If your liver can regenerate at 25%, what does that say when the liver is so messed up that you have to actually have a new one put in? There's a, a two-year wait, a one to two-year wait for for livers. One out of eight people who are on the liver list uh, die while they're waiting for their new liver. And, and once you have a transplant, you're not out of the woods yet. Once you have a transplant, you are now an official ward of the medical model for the rest of your life. So the medical, the medical world understands how to deal with the liver in their own medical way. They can even put a new one in. They can give you drugs that cost $1,000 a dose if you have hepatitis. But despite all these wonderful advances in the modern medical model, and there are wonderful advances, nobody's denying that. You know, I'm guilty of ripping on the model as much as anybody, but you got to give credit where credit is due. As far as emergencies and transplants and replacements go, you know, that's pretty miraculous what, what uh, the medical profession, what medical professionals can do. But the fact remains that the liver is a lifestyle organ in the sense that it's dealing with our lifestyle, for better or worse. And if you have liver disease, there are many lifestyle strategies you can use. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. Don't go away. Thank you for listening to GCN. 
Visit GCNlive.com today. Or 2 If you've got questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, skin health products, the longevity products, and if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you. 844-236-6010 is our number today on the bright side and every day on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program or sign up to join the Bright Side Ben team, please call the phone team at 866-735-2470 or head over to brightsideben.com and you can sign up right off the website. Also, criticalhealthnews.com and pharmacistben.com. This is kind of interesting from uh, from uh, GCI Magazine, which is a skin health mag, a skincare magazine that I subscribe to. From GCI Magazine, cryogenically produced donkey milk powder for cosmetics. If you're looking for the latest ingredient, it's donkey milk powder, made by a Greek company, Hellenic Asinus Farms, and they call it Netto. Why donkey milk powder, you ask? <laughs> because it contains vitamin E. That's what they say here in the advertisement. Contains vitamin E. The ingredient, uh, it also accelerates cl- connective tissue production used in soaps, hand and face creams and body creams. Donkey milk powder. Well, you don't have to go, you know, find a skincare product with donkey milk get powder in it. Go get yourself some donkey milk. This is the extent of the silliness of the skincare business. Folks, there's not a lot of things you need on your skin from a topical perspective. You need vitamin A and you need vitamin C. And that's pretty much it. You need, uh, it would be helpful to have a transdermal system, something that will penetrate, will uh, allow the vitamins to penetrate or pull the, the vitamins into the lower levels of the skin where the action is, and that's pretty much it. That's why I came out with my Truth Skin Health products, which are pretty much high, high, high doses of vitamin C and high doses of vitamin A in a stabilized form in a transdermal delivery matrix that improves the penetration of the vitamins or allows the the vitamins to penetrate to the lower levels where connective tissue is made. But of course, if you want your donkey milk, uh, cryogenically produced donkey milk, they cryogenically produce it. That's super high tech. That means they freeze dry it. They freeze dry the donkey milk and they get the powder out of it. I'm telling you, this is craziness. Anyway, so uh, we're talking vitamin E, super important for the skin. Super important for the heart, super important for the blood, super important for the liver, for the brain. Pretty much every system in the body will benefit because vitamin E protects cells. If you have a liver problem, vitamin E deficiencies, you should know, vitamin E deficiencies are associated with liver, with liver toxicity, with hepatitis for that matter. People who have hepatitis tend to have lower levels of vitamin E. The liver is a digestive organ. It does a lot of things, but the first thing you want to think of if you have a problem with your liver, if you're dealing with fatty liver disease, if, God forbid, you have hepatitis or uh, your liver is kaput and you need a liver transplant, think about food because the liver, while it does hundreds of different things, the, most of what it's doing is detoxifying what we're eating. The liver processes food micronutrients, vitamins, processes food minerals. It processes phyto nutrients, plant nutrients. It uh, processes macro nutrition, fats, proteins, sugar, amino acids. It's a major player when it comes to hormone processing. If you're a woman dealing with an unpleasant menopause or perimenopause or for that matter PMS, if you've got hot flashes, anxiety, insomnia, lack of libido, wrinkles, problem periods, osteoporosis, all female re- uh, issues of the female reproductive system, you can rest assured, 100% guarantee, or 99.9% anyway, that your liver is not firing on all cylinders. Now, the liver, as we said, is remarkably resilient and forgiving, and you, it'll grow back once it's messed up. Toxicity or not, hepatitis or not, it can keep us functioning even if it's sick, even if it's diseased, even if it's not optimally healthy. But if our livers are not optimally healthy, we're not going to be optimally healthy either. So yeah, we can get by, but do you want to just get by? Do you want to just, you know, just barely be able to get up in the morning? Do you want to just barely have enough energy throughout the day? Do you want to just barely feel good? We are leaving health on the table because we've set the bar so low because we're just satisfied getting out of bed. If your liver is not 100% maximally opt- 